why will you not want to come to Jesus with this kind of provisions your destiny your future your eternity everything is secured in Christ this is why Satan fights the gospel please pay attention this is why Satan will do anything to make sure your loved ones are not saved this is why Satan will do anything to make sure that you do not rise this is why satan will do anything to make sure you don't have the prosperity it takes for your comfort and for the gospel can i tell you this join apostle joshua selman in a life-changing sermon that explores the depths of god's love and wisdom discover practical insights for victorious living and a closer walk with the divine don't miss this opportunity to elevate your spiritual journey and experience the extraordinary. Stay tuned. Um, I, this is not to glorify Satan, but you see, you need to study how visionary Satan is. There is nothing that he does that is for itself. Everything he does is connected to one big goal. To stop the revelation of Jesus and the glorification of the same ask satan why do you fight prosperity that's the same reason why do you fight the bodies of men same reason why should the woman not have a child satan does not have any business with the child his concern is that anything captured in your life please pay attention anything captured in your life becomes satan's business if he finds out that there is potential in it to reveal jesus and to glorify jesus let me repeat that means satan has no business with your job he has no business with your health he has no business with your children if he does not think there is something he need to bring glory to the name of the lord the moment satan finds out that there is something in your life that he suspects he doesn't have to wait for you to be born again he suspects that one day with this talent you have if you ever get born again he will not wait until you get born again he will begin to attack it satan is not motivated by many motivations there's something you can learn from him there is a singular motivation he's motivated by one agenda to stop the revelation of jesus christ and to stop the glorification of the same can i tell you this if god takes everything that can reveal him in us satan will pass you like this and you will beg him to come and you'll say no he will go to look for where next that glory went to so he's not just looking for you because of you if you don't understand what i'm teaching you will not even understand tonight's teaching at all Who have I offended that my life is like that? You will stop that kind of statement after a revelation like this. You see that now? Because listen, listen, I'm not saying those who say that are bad, but that's why you came to church. The church is a place of enlightenment. The condition for an attack is that there, when Satan finds out that you were created in the image and the likeness of God, as a baby, he pursued children. You are an adult satan pursued children who could not beg they could not talk they could only suck breast he said kill them don't wait until they grow every child was created in the image of god and i know that one day if that prophet and apostle and everybody arises we're in trouble and now you have become an adult you can use your will in partnership with the holy ghost he will not let you go easily ah but thanks be to god but thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. There will be no need for all the arsenals that are given to the believer to make for victory experientially if there was no adversary who is determined to destroy us. The Bible says, John chapter 10 and verse 10, it says, The thief cometh not but for to steal to kill john 10 10 the thief cometh not but for do you know what this means my goodness do you know that i've not even started well we're in church god is speaking 
if this is all i say we'll close our bible and discuss it next week but i have to drum this thing because this is how to grow are you getting blessed the thief cometh not just let's let's deal with those first four words that means you have no business seeing the thief if there is nothing that is worth stealing nothing that is worth killing nothing that is worth destroying you get the idea now that means the thief is so selfish if you ever see him he comes to you as a verification that there is something in your life that is worth stealing killing and destroying every time you see satan come around you he has already confirmed to you that you are not ordinary this is what the bible is saying hear me that means if without engaging the weapons of victory you are free from satan it means something is wrong with you your freedom should not come from any negotiation with him your freedom should come by superimposing dominion that means if satan sees you without engaging the weapons of victory he should attack you that is proof that you were created in the image of god There are many people who are not facing any attack because they are cold they are lazy they are unserious they have checked you and found out that you don't have any relevance as far as kingdom come is concerned it's not because you are special you are not praying you are not fasting you don't know the lord you are not serious and yet you are not attacked don't be flattered the devil has found that he's focusing on those who can come and save you before he comes to you I was glad when they said unto me you see that church is a good place it truly is please sit down so the thief cometh not but for to steal please give it to us again to kill and to destroy Jesus contrasts it and says I am come that they may have and they may have it more look up there is a difference between life and abundant life oh what is getting me into this thing this night life and abundant life listen carefully by the way well since this is koinonia let me just caution you lovingly over some of these blind shouts that sometimes when the word of god is coming the energy it takes to receive is the same energy you are wasting in unnecessarily shouting there is it listen i won't say this anywhere this is this is home and god is training us are we together yes we must be thoroughly furnished sometimes i'm, I'm not i don't mean to insult you but but just listen to if if he's to laugh when he's laughable all of us know but some of these shout most times people who do these things are not getting it <laughs> I'm saying most times not all the time and please don't feel bad I'm not I'm not this is a family no one condemns anyone but it's just a it's just an honest honest word of caution hallelujah praise the name of the Lord Am I saying well? Is that Her Majesty? I'm so sorry. Please let's celebrate her. Her Majesty, the wife of the Olu of Worry. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. My sincere apologies. Yes. They are part of us. We are family. It's good to hear this kind of thing and turn any kingdom to faith, subdued kingdoms. Praise the Lord. Are we together? God bless you, Ma. Thank you. Such an honor to have you around. Where was I? I was cautioning, I was cautioning and, and calling for diligence as the word of God. Listen, two people acted this way in Jesus' days. Mary and Martha. Is it in your Bible? Remember the things that are written at four times, they are for our learning. Martha was running around doing all kinds of things and she was not getting it. Mary sat quietly and was listening. Here's what Jesus said. Martha, Martha, you are worried and offended about so many things. But he says this one thing, one thing is needful and this Mary has chosen to sit down at the master's feet. Now please look up. Because it is true 
that this kingdom operates by knowledge number one because it is true that you were created in the image and the likeness of God number three because it is true that there is an adversary and the Bible is not silent about him God decided to invent a formula to ensure that believers remain victorious and that formula is the Word of God in partnership with the Holy Spirit in partnership with gifts men and women of God who he has sent are we together now yes that when God grants you access to a spiritual family God grants you access to spiritual voices God grants you access to scripture he grants you access to the Holy Spirit he has supplied to you the weapons of victory the men and the women of God interpret scripture they instruct you according to Jeremiah 3 15 in knowledge and in wisdom that is their assignment to feed you to give you that spiritual nourishment are we together so they give you understanding they give you knowledge the Word of God opens you up the Holy Spirit comes to back you among the many things that the Holy Spirit does he is the custodian and the administrator of the anointing everything that has to do with the anointing is in the office of the Holy Spirit what is the assignment of the anointing I have taught you here the assignment of the anointing is to insist that the Word of God does not look like a lie so if there is no word that proceeds the anointing has no ministry the assignment of the anointing is to validate the claims of Jesus as revealed in scripture so when the Bible says God heals now the anointing comes to prove that that statement is true if God says I am able to lift men you see why the anointing follows the word this is the biblical strategy for administering the anointing there must be a statement that you must put on ground first something the Bible says should be done then the anointing you can beckon on the Holy Spirit now just dispensing the anointing without a scriptural basis the devil will easily steal into that atmosphere and delve people into superstition and all kinds of extra biblical manifestations and there are sincere and well-meaning people who are victims of this why because they were not methodically discipled they were not methodically mentored hallelujah so everything that we share week in week out are among other factors spiritual arsenals that are equipping you why are they equipping you so that number one you have enlightenment knowledge but number two so that you will know how to use these tools that have been given to produce results why are your results important John chapter 15 and verse 8 John chapter 15 and verse 8 this is why you need results in your life herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit so shall ye be my disciples why do you need results in your life Matthew chapter 5 from verse 13 the Bible says you are the salt of the earth it says is that true the salt of the earth that means you add value and you preserve your territory you are salt you need that result it then says that you are the light of the world the definition of darkness is the world without you you are the light of the world there are names that are exclusive to God alone man cannot claim that name but when it has to do with light both God and man are light there are names that he freely shares with us one of it is he is the son of God we are sons of God one of it is his light we are light are we blessed do you know why I believe the Holy Spirit just took me this route because everything that we teach in this house by God's grace must be seen with respect to all the things that are aforementioned when you begin to teach believers mysteries in the kingdom that are not connected to a larger body of truth they, this is where carnality 
comes in for instance if you begin to teach on things like maybe say wealth and prosperity you begin to teach on things like career destiny and the rest teaching it in isolation to kingdom come teaching it in isolation to the revelation of jesus will only fuel the existing lust in many people you see why some of these teachings seem to destroy but when it is brought in perspective then you see that jesus is glorified jesus is revealed hallelujah can we teach tonight now father open my eyes and let me see please lift your voice and pray for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom for the way of the lord is the way of wisdom hallelujah praise the name of the lord i felt very strongly stirred by the way a series on the various graces there's one more left on love but i suspended it because there is another series that you'll be part of there is a grace that can cause men to love god and to love men it is a grace that is at work in this house and um but we'll leave it and attach it to another series that is coming is that true tonight very briefly and then we'll pray i'm teaching on the spiritual pathway to greatness please i pray that you pay attention this is a very powerful teaching that will be relevant both for you your loved ones and those who are connected to you it is important that we learn the ways of god the bible says that in the last days when the mountain of the lord is lifted above every other mountain and every hill it says nations will come and men will say come let us go to the mount of the lord the house of jacob and he will teach us his ways as we conclude this enlightening sermon by apostle joshua selman let the depth of knowledge shared today be a catalyst of your ongoing educational journey apply the principles of wisdom understanding and divine insight in your pursuit of knowledge remember ed education is not mainly about information but a transformation of the mind and spirit carry the touch of learning into your studies professions and daily life may you continually grow in wisdom and impart your spheres of influence positively go forth empowered to be a beacon of knowledge and light and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe so you can be the first to get our video god bless you see you in the next